What is going on guys? Welcome back to another installment of my Sims 2 Open for Business Season 2 Let's Play. Uh, this is part uh, tw 11, 12? I think it's 12. Yeah. Part 12, we're at rank 5 right now. From the last part, we reached rank 5. And we will need 15 more customer loyalty stars to reach the next rank, which is 6, which is the highest we've ever um, went to in Season 1. So I'm kind of like trying to surpass rank 6 and even go higher from that. Um, have a really good business. And I noticed that... The negative review is no longer here, so people are more willing to come to our lot, I guess, which is why there's so many people. I also checked that we served a total of 44 customers, which is really good. Like, 44, that's not too bad. Could have raised more, but whatever, it's fine. Um, I did also mention that this episode would include a cutscene, but under some certain circumstances, um, with the business being in session right now, I found that maybe a cutscene will work for maybe another part. Uh, maybe next part, hopefully. Um, this is our last day of working. It's technically Friday where Jackson still lives, so we'll be including that cutscene for next part. I'm hoping. Um, once again, I'm not always guaranteed with my choices here, but I'm trying to do the best I can. Um, let's see. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Alright, so we're, we're at the business, and it is 4 a.m. I think we'll be, end we'll be um, closing up the shop soon, but it um, seems like everything is going pretty well. It's pretty smooth. How many um, things are in our inventory at the moment? We only have one. What is this? It's an apple pie, I think. Where's the apple pie? Where do we sell the apple pies? It's kind of like an apple pie, right? Is this it? Yep, it's right here. We can restock this for sure. So let's restock that. Probably have to make some more things. And she took the last, baked Alaska, so there shouldn't be anyone else buying anything for from the, um, the warm food warmers here. So yeah. Well, we have one more left, so maybe someone will decide to buy that. So yeah, right now we have a lot of customers. It's going really well. Hopefully I'm not jinxing it right now. I'm going to save. Save. Uh, you know, just you just have to save for, for all safety reasons. Um, for a crash or something bad happens. So that way I don't have to even pull a max call field here. Yeah, if you, for those that don't know about Max Caulfield, it's a Life is Strange reference, so, yeah. Alright, since it's so busy, I don't know if I should close the shop that soon. I'm going to continue making some baked Alaska, so uh, I'm going to have Jackson just continue making some more. Make many group meals of, uh, let's see, where's the baked Alaska? I thought I just saw it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Baked Alaska, baked Alaska, baked Alaska. Am I blind? Am I blind? Oh, here it is. See, I, I never passed it. Never passed it. Why is he laughing? Is he like viewing it? I think he's like viewing the pots and pans right there. Alright, so as of late, our cash flow history has been going really like low, and that is because we're overpaying our um, employees just so that they can stay here. Um, but yeah, yeah. Is this guy a reviewer? Hopefully, he's not a reviewer. This guy needs some help. This guy needs some help. We need to go help him. We need to go help him. We need Can I help you? Okay. Okay, cool. She's helping him. Gosh dang it. Just had to do that. Right when I was about to help him. Yeah, we're kind of running low on our baked Alaskas, you know? Oh well, dang, he got a, got a customer loyalty star. Now we're down to 12. Okay. Wait, no. Gosh dang it. Um, I'll put his inventory and we'll just uh, restock this one over here. I told him to make many, but he just... Okay, I guess because I stopped him from baking it, he just stopped the whole pattern, the whole routine of making it. He's sad because there's nothing up for sale. Alright, let's just close the shop now. We're going to close the shop because we have nothing for sale. So, uh, yeah, let's just do that. And Tiffany is really, like, she's going to become pretty angry soon. Alright, you can go ahead and take a break. Just just take a break. Just take a break here. Kind of overworking yourself here. You did a really good job today, Tiffany. You did a really good job today. Got us a whole bunch of customer loyalty stars and makes our shop look a lot better. Um, but now that everyone is leaving, um, I guess uh, everyone can take a break. Just take a break. Yeah, take a break. <clears throat> so hopefully you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. Um, yeah, just 
so have a good Tuesday so far. It's been like thunderstorming a lot and there's like flash flood advisories going on and yeah just flood warnings and I've been like paranoid that there's going to be like some type of severe like crazy crazy thunderstorm or tornado or something. I mean there was a tornado um, watch in Knox County of Ohio which is kind of it's kind of scary still but yeah it's probably supposed to be um storming later on tonight all right i'm gonna go ahead and send all the employees home now and then we will uh i guess clean up if we have to maybe no she's cleaning up i think we're fine we are fine are they going home everyone go home have a nice day have a nice day good job good work today we're gonna go home too <laughs> He's like, get out of here. Everyone get out. Wow, I've actually never seen this interaction before. He's like whistling for everyone to get the flip out. Like, it's time. It's closing time. Get out. Oh my god, that's funny. Ah, uh, home sweet home. I miss home. Just kidding. We haven't even been out of the house for that long. I mean, we've been out for a couple of hours, but we're always going to be home no matter what. So, pretty successful day in, um, uh, business wise but like our money isn't doing that great cuz yeah the cla the cash the clash <laughs> the cash flow history has been pretty negative but hopefully that will change eventually um, we're still kind of a rookie business so I'm not surprised that we're gonna be wasting a lot of money but yeah it will hopefully all change really soon and maybe we'll be able to expand our business a lot more eventually too Alright, so I'm going to have him do all the personal stuff that he has to do. Take care of himself, basically. Um, eat a little bit, too, and maybe rest up a little bit as well. A little, a little bit, a little bit. And then maybe we'll call Katrina and invite her on a date or something. Actually, we can't really invite her on a date. Maybe just for an outing. Maybe just for an outing. But I can't really trust my um, game because it likes to crash a lot. So I guess we'll be saving a lot. Alright, we're gonna have some leftover pizza here. It's yummy pizza. It's like, it's not even pizza pizza. It's just like a, I guess you could call it pizza still, but it's not like the usual triangle shape. But hey, not all pizza is supposed to be a triangle, okay? They're, they can be rectangles too. I've had pizza that, that has been rectangles at school before, and I think there's this place called Zanny's, or I forgot what it's called, but it was pretty good. It's pretty good. And it was pretty cheap too. It was like six dollars for a big um, pizza. Usually it's like ten or twenty at like other places. Oh, did he just get fat? Oh no, he's he's normal now. He's not fit anymore. So we probably need to get him back there. Um, I thought he got fat. <laughs> Guess that's what happens when you overeat a little bit. Oh, this thing is broken. Need to repair that. Okay, how, how high is his mechanical skill? It's only two, yeah, two, two skill points. I mean, we'll have him sleep in his pajamas here. Uh, when he wakes up, we'll be um, calling Katrina over. All right, so Jackson just invited her over, so she'll be here in a little bit. Um, can we do some yard work? There's like weeds out here. I don't think we'll be able to do all of it, but let's just do a few. Wait, I don't even think we can reach it. Let's see. He's probably gonna complain. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. It looked like we can't reach, but we can. And is there a way to set this as the front door? Cause uh, they keep going to the back door. This should be the front door. Wait. No, she she sees us, so she's just gonna like sit there and be like, "Hey, how you doing?" All right, let's talk to her. Reader. It's nice to see you. That's a friend zone hug right there. She's gossiping. Ooh, dang, Katrina! I didn't know you were a gossiper. Holy moly. Right, let's admire her. You know, she's t she's really nice today. Uh, let's bust a move. We'll do like some gestures here. Because why not? And then we're going to ask her um, to form a casual group just for fun. Because why not? Why not? Maybe we should invite other people with us too. I mean, it's just us and Katrina is not too... It can be like too fun, so um, maybe we'll invite another person, and that person will be maybe Hobart Chung. Hopefully, he doesn't hit on her because if he does, we're gonna kill him. Cause that is our girl, that is our woman. 
Okay, Hobart, you want to come over? Invite over. Hmm? Sounds great. Okay, he'll be another member. How about we invite also um, Lisa Ramirez, so that way there's two girls and two guys. I mean, it sounds weird, but let's balance the, the outing group here. Lisa Ramirez, time to Every hang out with us. Fuenere. Fuenere. Who's this chick right here? Julie Yang. How nice of you to invite me. I'll just go up and come right over. I don't know why I said that. I said it like that. Okay, so she's gonna play some pool. I actually saw a pool video not too long ago, maybe just recently, that there's this kid. He looks so young that he was just doing all these like trick shots. I was like, holy crap, dude. This guy's the next pool prodigy, like pool player prodigy. Pool player prodigy. <laughs> PPP. <laughs> pool player prodigy. All right. He's gonna ring the doorbell because he's weird like that. All right, how you doing, Lisa? How you doing? It's nice to see you. Has, has it been a while since I've spoken to you too? I don't know. All right, join the casual group and next. Uh, where did Hobart go? Oh, he's going that way. He's right there. Yeah, ring the doorbell that's in the back. That makes a lot of sense. And there's someone calling us. I should answer it, but we have guests. We have guests. All right. Um. Introduced to Katrina. Katrina. I don't give a crap about that phone call. It's probably that one guy who's trying to invite us like to go downtown. I hate that guy. Wait, who's best friends? Are they best friends? Someone over here is best friends? Alright, and then we're going to ask him to join our casual group. And then maybe all of us can go out... Uh, let's go somewhere. Jack Jackson's outing. We're gonna go. It's not really a whole, up, whole lot of places in Veronaville. Hold on, whole lot of places. Um, but of course we live in Blue Water Village, so why would we even question that? Samoyan Arcade, huh? Sounds like a fun place to go hang out. You know, just play some video games, chat, hang out. Lounge a little bit. Furniture. Ramirez. Lisa, this is your shop, isn't it? I'd like to go there sometime. Buy myself a chair or something. I don't know if we can actually buy furniture like that, but it'd be interesting if we could. J Door Bakery. Uh, hold up. There's another bakery. Let's go check it out. We're going to check out this bakery, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We just have to go check this out. Ours is a cafe and bakery. Although I really wanted to like expand it to more than just a bakery as of late. But... It's okay. It's all right. We're gonna check this out. See what our competition's like. Ours is probably way better, design-wise, because I just got it from the, I got it from a website. Yeah, I definitely built it myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go to Jay Adore Bakery, and it's, it's conveniently, or coincidentally, uh, their their name starts with a J. Jay Adore. Why did it have to be Jayador? Why couldn't it be like Tiador? Oh wow, this is actually not too bad. It's quite nice, I have to say. It's really simple and yeah, wow. Why couldn't mine be like this? <laughs> I actually want mine to look like something like this, like something like that. Awesome, okay. Let's see, where are we going to buy? Actually, I don't want to buy anything. This is competition, okay? I don't want to buy any competitor stuff. I don't want to. Is this guy... Is he the owner? I know the Jackwits are like... They have their own bakery. It is the Jackwits. Hmm. That's very expensive. I don't want that. Let's buy this slice of pot. We can... Oh my god. We can sell slices of things too. Wow, they made this expensive. It is a big piece, so... Yeah, I'm just... Taking some notes here, I might actually steal some of the, some of these ideas. All right, you got a pretty solid uh, business here. It's nice checking it out. I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna drive to another lot. All right, uh, Blue Water Village. Um, all right, guys. So I decided let's let's just go ahead and dine out because Jackson is a little bit hungry, anyways. And the scenery here is so nice. You guys probably seen me come here before, like a couple of times, and. Uh, I just really like this place. So this is called Bernard's Botanical Dining, and it's it's just that's all it is basically. It's just scenery, and it's kind of like um, you're you're out in the 
the wild, you know, because over here it's kind of like a desert theme because you have a bunch of cactuses around here. And then over here it's just like a simple like bamboo forest because I guess, I guess that's bamboo, right? It's like a bamboo forest, so it's really exotic. It's really tropical or something, you, you, I guess you'd call it. So yeah, it's really great for those outside lovers who want to dine inside but have a outdoor theme within it. Um, there's also a place here for children, so if you have any children that would like to come, then they can go ahead and play on the swing set over here, which is pretty nice. So it's kind of like a family-friendly um, diner. And then they have, of course, darts here, get high over here, um, and you got a photo booth too. So yeah, do I hear Mrs. Crumble Bottom? Cause I hear a lot. I hear someone squeaking around. Someone squeaky. There she is, Mrs. Crumple Bottom. Mrs. Crumple Bottom. Gosh, I hate her. <laughs> Let's not mess with her. She's gonna lecture us. Let's see if she hits anybody though. Let's see if she targets anyone. Alright, so I ordered ribs for everybody because why not? It, it sounds delicious, so let's have some ribs. Have some ribs. She's probably not going to target anyone unless there's like a couple nearby, but you don't really see couples so often in the uh, community lots. You just see friends. So everyone's having a nice time, except for Katrina actually. She is probably nervous right now. This this is probably nerve-wracking for her. Probably nerve-wracking. Maybe this can be the thumbnail perhaps? This could be the thumbnail, yeah. Perhaps not, but whatever. Let's check out this lady over here. Angelina Wilson. Oh my, look at her skin. Look at her skin, guys. Whoa, what is going on with this lady? She is on drugs now. She's full effect on that freaking bubble blower thing. That's scary. That is scary. Alright, I'm done eating. Uh, let's see. Should we order another water? I think we're done. Yeah, we're gonna eat only the ribs. I wonder if the washing hands uh, trick actually works here too, like for hygiene. I think it'll work. I mean, it makes sense, right? You wash your hands, you get hygiene. Wait, no, no, no. I'm in the wrong bathroom. This is for the men. This is the men's bathroom right here. Wash hands there. It must stink in there, huh? Oh yeah, it does work. Okay, let's wash our hands a few times then. Uh, getting a whole bunch of hygiene from that. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lisa. Not you too. Not you. Alright, let's go play some darts over here. Oh, there's a vampire. Ooh, nice. Contessa Cheryl, Cheryl Perry. Let's go talk to her. Do we already know her? I feel like we know her already. No, we don't. No, we're gonna go meet her now. Let's go meet her. Get it meat, cause you know, vampires. I don't know, they just like human- they just like blood, okay? I don't know if they actually like human meat. Oh, you're gonna go get seated? Okay. I'll let her go get seated. Let's just not bother her then. But oh my gosh, there's- these guys are getting- they're having so much fun. I hope you're having so much fun, Lisa. Get in. We're gonna invite Katrina with us to take a photo. You know, just have some memories. Speaking of, oh yeah, there she is. Oh, these trees are in the way. These trees. Ask Katrina to join. Uh oh. Looks scandalous, doesn't it? All right, let's take a goofy picture. Take a goofy picture. Because normal is weird and weird is normal. So, yeah. It just froze right there. It kind of scared me. I'm like, don't crash. It's terrible. Let's go and take a look at the pictures here. If we zoom in a little bit, this is, this is the pictures they took. Wow, Katrina and her 
she just doesn't look too happy right there. That's not even goofy. That's just like, I'm going to kill you. Look. Where he's just hogging up the whole lens. So she's like, where am I at in this picture? But yeah. Not not too bad. He put the bunny ears behind her too. Alright. So we've got some pictures. It's nice. Oh, wow. Thunder. Ah, evil witch. That's, that's the reason why. Cassidy Hogan. Alright, uh, I think I'm going to be ending the episode here, so if you guys enjoyed the video, why not give it a thumbs up, and if you want to continue watching the series, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It is completely free, and you'll be notified when I upload. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch today's episode, and I'll see you guys in the next upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay awesome, I love you all. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome day. Goodbye.